how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god if you know that you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love and your support just know that i appreciate much 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 may god bless you but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe automatically youtube will be notifying you whenever i upload a new video so don't forget to do that please please if you're new here thank you so much so dear friends in our today's video i am going to be sharing with you an update of a love story that i shared here I think a year ago i also came with part two so today we're gonna have a part three some of you who follow me on instagram you already know <laughs> like what happened but those who don't follow me on instagram or maybe you did not come across that story then today you'll get to find out what happened after i shared a part two of their update love story yeah so the couple that i am talking about is of millie and ronald millie is from kenya and ronald is from netherlands a dutch guy so guys for those who did not watch their part one love story i'm going to be taking you from part one part two then we'll come to part three very very fast it's not gonna be a long video so those who did not watch millie's online dating success love story part one how it all started it started that millie used to watch my videos from the time i had 200 subscribers <laughs> you can imagine guys <laughs> yeah so she kept on following me then i started you know posting videos about online dating and that's when after watching some of my videos about online dating was inspired and decided to join online dating and started searching for love faced lots of challenges same challenges that you who is still searching you haven't found the one is going through yeah but eventually god blessed her with this amazing man from the netherlands a dutch guy his name is ronald so they chatted and eventually ronald decided to go to kenya <laughs> to meet her for that first time and i can remember very well millie telling me everything you know about this dutch guy <laughs> how everything is going and his arrival in kenya she also sent me some photos you know of him being there i was super excited and you know me guys if you ever shared with me you know your success love story <laughs> how i always you know cheer up and be like god let's share the story to inspire others because i'm here to do that guys <laughs> yeah so when i told Millie at first she was like mm, bella i think we should wait a bit i don't know maybe till i get married and i was like no we will share part one then part two <laughs> then part three don't worry everything will be fine then eventually herself was like yes bella i think there is no problem go ahead and share my success love story that's when guys i came here and i shared with you her online dating success love story the part one you who remembers her part one love story and by the way guys on Ronald's first visit to Kenya to visit Millie, she took him to her family. The family was so happy to meet Ronald. You can see, guys, <laughs> in the video clip that I am going to be sharing with you now. so after meeting for that first time ronald returned to the netherlands they kept on chatting guys i've said this lots of times that you who are still searching oh my god 
the struggle is real you know to find that real guy a guy who truly loves you <laughs> due to the challenges that you come across but after finding that right guy on the dating site or a dating app there are more challenges to come and for sure guys your love should be strong because if you're not strong then it's going to end that is why i've been telling you search for a quality guy because a quality guy will never leave you halfway a quality guy will never abandon you just because things are getting harder no actually it's gonna bring you guys more closer <laughs> so guys after ronald visited kenya returned to the netherlands of course had helped millie to move into a new apartment and he was the one you know taking care of that i need to make a pause here <laughs> guys remember i did a video about dutch guys and i told you how these guys are more into 50 50 kind of a relationship but we see ronald is a totally different guy <laughs> he's supporting millie already even before millie becomes his wife yeah and i really love that about ronald so yeah ronald was in the netherlands the relationship kept on going but he had promised millie to invite her to the netherlands to see his life because they are not going to be living in kenya it's millie to relocate to the netherlands so it was very very important for millie to visit him Millie was happy and started the visa process. Like I had told you, Millie didn't tell me about the visa process, but came to talk to me when the visa was denied, sadly. So when Millie talked to me, told me that they had wanted to appeal, but I advised her that they shouldn't appeal. So she had to connect me to Ronald. I talked to Ronald and told him, everything that they are supposed to do if he still wants her to visit him and he was so happy and me talking to ronald was like oh yes this guy is the one you know i told you there's some guys when you talk to them you just feel at peace you're not the girlfriend but the way they talk to you the way they are calm and everything oh my god it gives you an assurance that that relationship will work out but exist some guys that they'll just talk to you to please the girlfriends <laughs> but even you talking to them you start noticing some red flags yeah but with ronald i never noticed that so the relationship kept on going guys and what ronald decided to do as they were still thinking of the way forward concerning the visa process he decided to do a surprise visit on Millie. <laughs> she was not expecting that at all at all but it really opened her heart <laughs> yeah told me about it. it was like he's here i'm over the moon he brought me lots of gifts you know <laughs> i was really really happy for her and on that surprise visit that is when ronald told Millie would like to take her on a dinner date they went on a dinner date and as they were eating he stood up pretending to go to the washroom but he had gone to talk to the waiters and when he returned he saw all the waiters you know following him clapping and he went on his knee and asked Millie will you marry me oh my god another surprise <laughs> she was so happy and cried yeah you'll see the photos i'll put the photos again here so that you can see those photos how she got so emotional and i was so happy when she shared with me the photos guys this will sound strange but i cried you know tears of joy because i know the struggles that you guys go through so when you find that good good guy ah, i'm at peace i'm happy overjoyed <laughs> yeah so guys after the engagement ronald spent some few days in kenya and then had to return to the netherlands they kept on communicating kept on building their relationship never caused any drama you know <laughs> those are for cinemas no nothing like that or the guy disappearing on you <laughs> 
<laughs> making your heart all the time beat with pressure what could have happened why is he acting like that not at all or pressure her you have to marry me we have to get married so that you can get the visa get to stay with me whereby the lady is not ready yet no nothing like that guys everything was going on smoothly and step by step so yeah, Mindy updated me and was like, Bella, we are now talking about <laughs> him paying for the bride price. So keep praying for me. Every time I talk to Mindy, it's like, Bella, pray for me. Pray for my relationship. And yes, guys, I could pray for her. I kept on praying for her. And yes, guys, the date was set for Ronald to go pay for her bride price. <laughs> he bought everything that he was told. Oh my God, this guy. <laughs> he is so good. You can see how he blended in. <laughs> Even on that bride price ceremony, the way he was dancing. Guys, I'm going to be sharing with you again here a video clip of the bride price ceremony how it started when he was taking you know the things that he was asked as a bride price <laughs> the whole party how they enjoyed danced everyone was super super happy i'm back at it again this guy is a dutch guy <laughs> but he accepted to pay for her bride price without causing any problem or be like yes Millie, i love you so much but this bride price thing no 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 it's not in my culture ronald never had a problem he understood and Millie says she thanks god though sometimes he could joke about it <laughs> that i am supposed to bring cows from europe to kenya <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's a good joke and a funny one <laughs> this reminds me there is a south african lady who was chatting with a dutch guy all was good guys that guy was even writing to me <laughs> excited and happy he met that south african girl within a day of joining a dating site i was like i can't wait to go to south africa <laughs> and all that when that lady told him about the bride price, everything ended. He was like, no, I can't pay the bride price. And that was the end of their relationship. So guys, with this, you can see, you remember the disclaimer that I was giving when I was talking about dating guys from different countries. <laughs> I could tell you, attention, not all. So Ronald is on not all. But when you chat with that Dutch guy and you find out that he is totally different from what I described <laughs> about Dutch guys, then you'll be like, oh, this guy is among those guys that Bella said not all. So guys, enjoy that short video clip and we continue with this beautiful update <laughs> of their love story. Something to share. 
maybe in one or five minutes at most, you can share with us or say something before we we do the needful. You know, here yeah, every mind will change as we move on. As we are still sober, kindly. <laughs> and say something. Thank you. Um, thank you again for uh, being here all. Um, I feel very, very much honored to be here and uh, have such a warm welcome in, in the family, in the Juma family. Um, thank you very much again. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know. <laughs> to have a long speech, so I'll keep it short. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Coffee. I do a new bum no chill, my bed. We put a bum on the room. Bamuru no chill, let the man, my bed. I have one, two, three. Asante. No chill. Mama, please keep your children in prayers. Now it is time to eat. And before we eat, uh, this this is now a special meal. You know, we rarely see cake. We rarely see cake unless there's an occasion like this. So we'll ask uh, one of us to pray for the cakes. And again, you pray for the drinks because Magigi manager Jama shout out some of them. Don't forget Jama. Yeah, now uh, again, again, uh, we are also on a yeah. because. Just a minute. I wanted to ask you this because this is now her family. And we are before before her. She has really she has under the meal for us. Now we want to see how Millicent is going to pray in Mr. Ching's house when she brings the meals. So that is why ah. I was why I wanted to request Millicent now to pray officially for this meal. Because you are going to be a prayerful woman. And this is the start of the journey. Kindly pray for this cat. Then we will crown it with the <laughs> Something was missing in my head. I was surprised.
So friends, after he paid the bride price, of course, Ronald still had to go back to the Netherlands and left Millie in Kenya. But the relationship continued. <laughs> it's not that he went to the Netherlands and then disappeared. No, they kept on dating, getting to know each other more, which is very, very important. Because you know, guys, when you are dating, that perfect, perfect relationship does not exist. That perfect, perfect marriage does not exist. <laughs> okay. So when you are dating, you know, you're still getting to know each other and you have enough time. I'm not saying three years or four years <laughs> to get to know each other, but at least maybe a year of getting to know each other, some things might happen. And when these things happen, you get to know each other more on how you react to some situations or how he reacts to some situations. <laughs> you get to know his character the more. Is he a mature guy? Is he not a mature guy? Is he someone when a problem arises, then this guy closes himself. He doesn't want to talk. <laughs> and on the other side too, the guy is observing you. This helps you guys a lot, especially in making that huge decision <laughs> of getting married yeah so they kept on getting to know each other yeah some misunderstandings here and there but not big ones that could worry anyone or be a threat to that relationship not at all so yes guys that's when they started talking about getting married the date was set and when everything was ready ronald traveled with his brother and his nephew to Kenya for the wedding. But before they get married few days, something really bad, a very big challenge happened to Millie and Ronald. Millie cried a lot, even Ronald, but they couldn't stop the wedding because everything was ready for them to get married. Millie isn't ready to talk about it now, but promised me that she will come and talk about it one day with you cause you will get a lot to learn from it. But for now, let us leave it like that. So yes, yeah. guys, the wedding day came and went, got married. It was a civil wedding with few friends and families. They were happy to eventually get married, but again, I think you're going to be reading from their faces, you know, not in that happy, happy mood due to what had happened before. Guys, I repeat, search for a quality guy when you are on the dating sites because this life is full of surprises. You can be very happy, so much in love, but a challenge just falls on you whereby you even don't know what to do, how to react about it. It is only love, true love, that can save you guys. Yeah. Yes, after they got married, they did a small party again with few friends and families, went on honeymoon and after honeymoon, Ronald had to go back to the Netherlands. But at that time, they started preparing for Millie's visa so that she can reunite with her husband in the Netherlands. So yes, guys, the paperwork started, Millie told me about it, and yeah, I could assist her on some things. She could ask me for some information. Bella, what can I do here? Bella, can I call you? I have a question to ask here. Yeah. So we worked together and she applied for that visa. Eventually, God is good, was granted a visa to go reunite with her husband in the Netherlands. And you guys that follow me on Instagram, I updated you when Millie traveled and when she arrived, I shared some pictures. 
that Millie has arrived in the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, she was super, super happy that Bella, oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> that I am in Europe. I congratulated her and yeah, that was the happily ever after. Yeah, that's the update that I wanted to give you and I had to take you back to how it started so that you get to understand and those who didn't watch part one, part two, then you get the whole information in this video. So friends, for those who are still asking themselves, which kind of a dating app or dating site Millie met Ronald, they met on Kenyan Cupid. I've shared this dating site to most of you, but still I get comments or I get people complaining, Bella, I'm seeing only local guys. Remember when I shared a video about dating sites and dating apps to try out so that you can find that right guy, I told you that when you get to know a dating app or a dating site, learn how to use it. Because when you learn how to use it, it's going to be very easy for you to navigate through. So before you start even complaining, Bella, I'm seeing only local guys. <laughs> Can you please learn how to use that dating app or dating site? Get to see where you can change the location of the guys that you want. Because Kenyan Cupid, all these Cupid dating sites, they are similar on how to use them. So, for example, you want a guy from the Netherlands, you are in Kenya, of course, remain in your location. But you go to search, when you click on search, keep going down, you will see country. And on country, click they're going to bring different countries so choose netherlands and when you choose netherlands remember to submit so when you submit they're going to start bringing guys from the netherlands but another thing that you guys should know if you never used any of these cupid dating sites once you choose a country that you want men to come from you submit it's not that it will remain there <laughs> no <laughs> after some time they're going to take you back to your original location that you chose when you were registering so you keep changing like that maybe now you are browsing through men's profiles change such guys from the netherlands then after change such guys from you know maybe the us change such maybe guys from the uk like that but remember it won't stay permanently because <laughs> yeah i've seen people asking me bella this is frustrating every time i have to change yeah that's how dating sites works we can't do anything about it. Yeah, I thought it was important you guys get to know that. So if you have never tried Kenyan Cupid, give it a try. Who knows? You might find the one just like how Millie found the right guy, Kenyan Cupid. Without forgetting, guys, Millie never paid on Kenyan Cupid, but Ronald was paying. So guys, before I end this video, I would like to wish Millie and Ronald all the best in your marriage may god bless you guys you keep living your happily ever after and may all your wishes come true guys let us wish them all the best in their marriage and guys i am concluding this love story by telling you who is still searching for love on the dating sites dating apps that it is possible to find a quality guy you just need to be careful don't rush things pray pray and pray i think i've told you every time i could talk to millie she could be like bella keep praying for my relationship it's not that the relationship was going bad that's why she was asking for prayers no even if things are going good going in the right direction keep seeking for god's protection yeah because with him everything is possible with him you are protected nothing can scare you <laughs> nothing can shake your relationship though yes i know a lot is going on concerning these guys that 
some ladies phoned on the dating sites but i've been telling you guys i bring bad stories good stories to show you guys be careful you can meet a guy who is bad like this guy to take as an example and i also bring good stories like millie's story and soon i'm gonna be bringing another update <laughs> of your favorite couple so far <laughs> yeah so that you get to to know what happened after i shared their story yeah to show you it works it works guys it can work don't be scared because some of you when you hear bad stories you'll be like bella no 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 i have to take a break bella no i'm not myself anymore since i watched that story that you posted since i watched a story that i saw you know a lady talking like this about online dating no guys be careful trust in god search for that quality guy thank you so much guys for watching this video till now i really appreciate much much for your love your support watching till this point if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something please comment below what you think about this video i will appreciate a lot <laughs> to get to read what you think about this video if you haven't subscribed can i ask you a question what are you still waiting for <laughs> please please subscribe join this family and thank you so much for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao